All right, Coach. First of all, introduce yourself, and then we'll talk about the season and, and this tournament this weekend. Uh, Al Therese, formerly head women's basketball coach, Alabama a &M University. All right. Talk about the season up to this point. Uh, well, you know, we're coming off a, a weekend road swing. Uh, we played Memphis on Friday, Murray State on Sunday, um, after a, like a 21-day break. So we're really just getting back into the groove of things. A lot of teams out of swag this year. Both men and women are playing Conference USA teams. And, uh, if you pull off a win, uh, were you expecting the same thing? Uh, we were. We um, we ended up not playing well the first half and then had to kind of battle back the second half. Got close, but just couldn't pull it off. All right. Other than the non-conference schedule up to this point, just talk about this weekend's uh, World Vision Classic. Oh, great. I think it's a great classic. I think basketball travels, they do a, a great job of putting together tournaments where uh, even the smaller teams can get exposure. And for us to be invited to this tournament is such a privilege. Uh, playing one of the top teams in the country, an you know, opportunity to play against the best. And hopefully we can take some things from this game and improve on it and uh, move on. I'll get back on the game, but talk about the scheduling. You know, the girls, got, they pretty much in, in tournament mode, less than 24 hours in between games, and it's three days, three games. Oh, yeah. Uh, we definitely have to put this game behind us. We uh, will play again tomorrow early, so we have a little time this evening to take a look at um, once we find out who's going to win this game between UNLV and Old Dominion, put together a game plan, get some rest, refuel the body, uh, refuel the mind, and just get ready for tomorrow. All right, now, let's talk about the game today. You all came out with some fire, and you were ready to go. Then what? We did. I think that Notre Dame did a great job of looking at, in the first half, exactly what we were running, and then in the second half, they came out and attacked us. Um, and easy, got easy baskets. You know, we didn't handle the ball very well. They uh, got easy baskets, kind of took us out of a little momentum, and... Once that swing took place, we couldn't swing it back around. So, uh, no, they did a great job with their game plan. Not so much about depth. They started to make long shots, get the knock down threes and all when they did to extend the game. They did, and I think that happened after they got the easy shots going to the basket, and so now we had to help on penetration, and when we started helping on penetration, it's when they started knocking down those threes. And, uh, you know, we just gave them those opportunities, and they took advantage of them. Talk about Alabama and m You know, folks. A lot of folks don't know who, who you all are. And where you're from? We're from Huntsville, Alabama. We participate in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Uh, we're an HBCU and a historically black uh, conference uh, school. And you know, it's it's just a great opportunity to give these young ladies a chance to use basketball as a skill, but also to provide a valuable education to them. And the swag itself. Swag. Fun conference. Uh, I like your spot. Grambling, Jackson State, <laughs> yeah, Alabama State, uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff, Mississippi Valley, Texas Southern, Prairie View. Uh, we're a great conference. We love the competition. It's an opportunity for us to kind of showcase our skills. Uh, just a fun conference to be a part of. One of the, 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 two, the la two last questions. One of the big things that's going on in the SWAC over the last couple of years is non-conference schedule has gotten better and it's starting to help with the RPI. And also, it's preparing everybody from top to bottom for conference play. It is. Um, a lot of the teams are going to play the tougher competition. And, um, you know, it's an opportunity to see your team against the best and then figure out how you can try and take your kids to that level. And, and just, um, you know, most of us are playing the, those big schools. And in the end, it pays off because when it gets to conference time, it is a battle from first game of the season all the way to the tournament, the end of the tournament. And who is your biggest rival during the uh, Alabama State, they're about two hours away from us. That's our biggest rival. All right, reintroduce yourself and we'll close out. Altherius Warmly, Alabama AM Women's Basketball. This is Jerry Lee Willie Jean with the College Sports Report. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.